or on stamps, my shtick may be heading in new directions. I don't think it's too healthy for me to be focusing on H.A. Goodman or Manitok or Ebon Kim. Oh, I wanted, I have one thought I wanted to leave with, and that'll be that it looks like MPB has quit. It looks like I was totally correct that her face has major issues. She's now embarrassed to make videos. Uh, you look at her channel for the last half year, she hasn't made much, or at least the last several months, she stopped making videos so often. She has some type of last hurrah where she visited Creighton once again in Florida. She's not even involved in that podcast for the most part. She sits in the background and eats food. But I wouldn't worry about her. She's obviously still making posts elsewhere. I don't care about that. Back in the day, I would have cared. It would have been my special interest to troll bust her. I troll busted other people. I found out early on in my internet cyber sleuthing career, non-paid career, that it's pointless to go after no names. No one cares about them. So if you're going to troll bust anyone, go after famous names. And that's what I did. And that's what I'm known for. And people know me for the uh, Brett Kimberlin thing. There might be a decent sized audience for myself out there, but they don't even know where I am. Thousands of people have uh, heard me or not heard, maybe heard at this point. I imagine a lot of the people who know me from YouTube and from uh, BitChute, they probably didn't know me before then, and vice versa. The people who knew me back in the day might not know that I'm, a lot of those people might not know that I came up with this new incarnation for Shtick. Well, it's, uh, it's 10.35 a.m. It's going to take me a while to edit all this. I just want to head in a new direction. Close friend used to say, how many times can you hammer in a nail? That's what this feels like. You got this Manitoc guy calling his guest an informant. That's how stupid these people are. He thinks it's like reverse psychology. I'll use the word informant, and that means I couldn't possibly be an informant, or that guy's not an informant, because I wouldn't use the word. That's what's going on with those, and it backfires H.A. Goodman is incapable of saying the word cocaine for some odd reason that I have some theories on. But he has to mention the, uh, the sentencing disparity between uh, crack cocaine and uh, the powder. He calls it the same narcotic. So this is what I mean. It's a tie. Like, I can't interact with H.A. I can't get any, I, you know, he's not going to be plugging me to all his views. I'm, my channel's not going to go viral. Because H.A. decided to uh, allow me uh, into uh, his sphere. No. But it's a tie in that he trolls himself. He's getting the same 5,000 hardcore Republicans who are pro-Trump. Maybe a 1,000 of those people are haters like me. You just watch to witness his continued deterioration. I have a personal reason to hate H.A. Goodman. He plugged a website that smeared me. H.A. Goodman is such an obvious COINTELPRO agent. It's just right there. It's a tie in that even though one can't, like in the old days, you could go on to, you could troll him, you could go really go in there. And he'd have to accept the response, but YouTube changed. It's all about uh, blocking people. I've done some of that too, but I'm a small channel. Every single voice that says something on my video page is it's amplified because there aren't many comments coming in. My plausible deniability for being an internet addict is that I have Asperger's. It was a special interest. I dug deep into cyber sleuthing. I did pretty good, and I'll make the history books for at least the Kimberlin thing. Believe you me. All this other stuff, well, I guess it's just like old radio shows that got lost. Or old, uh, you know, before film. Say like someone, uh, some famous actress from the 1880s. Well, they're all dead now, but maybe you can read about it in a book. No one's going to hear them, hear her. <laughs>